Welcome to Lesson 1 of our Formal Logic series. The topic of this lesson is an introduction to formal logic. In this lesson, we'll explore the fundamental nature of logic, its importance in reasoning, and the basic distinctions between formal and informal logic. Additionally, we'll delve into the historical development of formal logic and its key contributors. The format of this lesson is as follows. First, we'll provide an explanation of what logic is and its importance in reasoning. Next, we'll look at the basic distinction between formal and informal logic. And finally, we'll look at the historical context and development of formal logic. In the video description, you'll find links to the following additional materials intended to aid in and supplement your understanding of the content of this lesson. One, an audio file of the lesson, two, a PDF of these lesson slides, and three, a PDF of a 20-question review quiz checking your understanding of the content of this lesson. Logic is the systematic study of the principles of valid inference and correct reasoning. At its core, logic seeks to understand and establish the rules that govern rational thought processes. This discipline is fundamental to various fields, including philosophy, mathematics, computer science, and linguistics, as it provides the framework for constructing and evaluating arguments. The importance of logic lies in its ability to enhance clarity and precision in thinking. By applying logical principles, individuals can distinguish between valid and sound arguments on the one hand and fallacies on the other, ensuring that conclusions are based on solid evidence and rational consistency. This capacity for critical thinking and reasoned argumentation is essential not only in academic and professional settings, but also in everyday decision-making. Let's take a look at a question to check our understanding of the material just presented. You may wish to pause the video now to give yourself an opportunity to provide a detailed answer to this question. Question. Define logic and explain its importance in reasoning. Answer. Logic is the systematic study of the principles of valid inference and correct reasoning. It's important because it enhances clarity and precision in thinking, helps distinguish between sound and valid arguments on the one hand and fallacies on the other, and ensures conclusions are based on solid evidence and rational consistency. This is crucial in various fields and in everyday decision-making. Logic can be broadly categorized into two main types, formal and informal logic. Formal logic, also known as symbolic or mathematical logic, focuses on the structure of arguments. It uses symbolic notation to represent logical forms and abstract patterns of reasoning. The primary goal of formal logic is to determine the validity of arguments based on their form rather than on their content, that is, their structure rather than what they're specifically about. For example, the argument, if it rains, then the ground will be wet. It's raining, therefore the ground is wet, is valid because of its logical form, regardless of the specific content about rain and the ground. To see this, look at another argument with the same form. If today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, therefore tomorrow will be Wednesday. This argument is also valid, even though it's about something different than the first argument because it shares the first argument's logical form. Formal logic encompasses various subfields, including sentential logic, also known as propositional logic, and predicate logic, also known as first-order logic, each dealing with different levels of abstraction and complexity. Informal logic deals with the content and context of arguments in natural language. It emphasizes the evaluation of arguments based on their relevance, coherence, and the credibility of the evidence presented. These fallacies are errors in reasoning that can undermine the credibility of an argument even if its form is logically valid. For example, the argument, we shouldn't listen to his opinion on climate change because he's not a scientist, is an ad hominem fallacy, as it attacks the person rather than addressing the actual argument. Understanding the distinction between formal and informal logic is crucial for developing a comprehensive approach to reasoning. 
While formal logic provides the tools for analyzing the abstract structure of arguments, informal logic offers insights into the practical application of logical principles in real-world discourse. Let's take a look at a second question to check our understanding of the material just presented. As before, you may wish to pause the video now to give yourself an opportunity to provide a detailed answer to this question. Question. Explain the primary difference between formal and informal logic with examples. Answer. Formal logic focuses on the structure of arguments using symbolic notation to represent logical forms, aiming to determine the validity based on the form. Example, if it rains, then the ground will be wet. It is raining, therefore the ground is wet. Informal logic deals with the content and context of arguments, evaluating their relevance, coherence, and evidential credibility. For example, we shouldn't listen to his opinion on climate change because he's not a scientist is an ad hominem fallacy. The development of formal logic has a rich and varied history, spanning several millennia and numerous cultures. The roots of formal logic can be traced back to ancient civilizations, with early examples found in the works of Indian, Chinese, and Greek philosophers. In ancient India, the Nyanya school of philosophy founded around the 2nd century BCE developed a sophisticated system of logic that included rules of inference and debate. In ancient China, the Moist school, active around the 5th century BCE, contributed to logical thought with its emphasis on definitions, analogies, and logical paradoxes. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle is often regarded as the father of formal logic. His work, The Organon, laid the foundation for what is now known as Aristotelian or syllogistic logic. Aristotle's syllogistic logic focuses on categorical propositions and syllogisms, where syllogisms are logical arguments composed of three statements, two premises, and a conclusion. The validity of the syllogism depends on its logical form. An example of a syllogism is, all humans are mortal, Socrates is a human, therefore Socrates is mortal. This argument is valid because its form adheres to the rules of syllogistic logic. During the medieval period, scholars in the Islamic world and Europe expanded on Aristotelian logic. Islamic philosophers such as Avicenna and Averroes made significant contributions to the study of logic, integrating it with their philosophical and scientific inquiries. In Europe, the scholastic philosophers of the Middle Ages, including Thomas Aquinas and Peter Abelard, further developed logical theories and applied them to theological and philosophical debates. The 19th and 20th centuries saw the emergence of modern formal logic, characterized by the development of symbolic logic and mathematical rigor. Mathematicians and logicians such as George Boole, Gottlob Frege, and Bertrand Russell revolutionized the field by introducing new symbolic notations and formal systems. Boole's Boolean algebra laid the groundwork for the algebraic treatment of logic, which became fundamental to computer science and digital circuit design. Frege's work on predicate logic extended the scope of formal logic to include quantifiers and relations, allowing for more complex and nuanced arguments. Russell and Alfred North Whitehead's monumental work, Principia Mathematica, aimed to provide a comprehensive logical foundation for all of mathematics, further solidifying the importance of formal logic in the foundations of mathematics. Today, formal logic continues to evolve with ongoing research in areas such as modal logic, temporal logic, and non-classical logics. These advanced systems explore reasoning about necessity and possibility, time-dependent propositions, and alternative logical frameworks that deviate from classical logic's principles. The applications of formal logic have expanded beyond philosophy and mathematics to fields such as computer science, artificial intelligence, linguistics, and cognitive science. For instance, formal logic plays a crucial role in the design and verification of software, the development of algorithms, and the study of natural language processing. Let's take a look at a final question to check our understanding of the material just presented. 
As before, you may wish to pause the video now to give yourself an opportunity to provide a detailed answer to this question. Question. Summarize the historical development of formal logic, highlighting key contributors and their contributions. Answer. Formal logic's history spans several millennia and cultures. Key contributors include the Nyanya school in ancient India and the Moist school in ancient China. Aristotle's organon laid the foundations for syllogistic logic. Medieval Islamic and European scholars such as Avicenna and Thomas Aquinas expanded on Aristotelian logic. The 19th and 20th centuries saw developments by George Boole, Gottlob Frege, and Bertrand Russell. Modern formal logic includes research into modal, temporal, and non-classical logics with applications in computer science, AI, and linguistics. In this lesson, we've discussed the fundamental nature of logic and its importance in reasoning. We've explored the distinctions between formal and informal logic, emphasizing the structure and content of arguments. Additionally, we reviewed the historical development of formal logic, highlighting key contributors and their contributions to the field. By understanding these core principles, you're now prepared to delve deeper into the complexities and applications of formal logic.